So good morning. My name is Elena Kingetti, CEO of EK Management. Um, today is January 17th, 2017. <clears throat> I'm so excited about today. Um, today I wanted to talk about load boards. Load boards. Okay, so a load board is basically a matching service in the freight industry. If you're looking at my video, most likely it's because you're wanting to get into freight, transportation, um, or perhaps you're just looking to be an entrepreneur. Um, but if you're looking to get into the freight industry in any type of capacity on the truck side or on the broker side, the low boards are your best friend. Okay, so what are low boards? Basically, low boards are the matching site of the freight industry. So for instance, you have Mrs. Freight over here um, that is the shipper that has the freight that needs to be moved and things like that. And then you have Mr. Carrier over here that has the truck and is ready to move freight. And then in the middle, remember from other videos, in the middle, you have the broker who is basically the platform that matches Mrs. Freight to Mr. Carrier or either vice versa anyway, um, the broker is the one that matches the two together. So the question becomes, how does the broker match the freight with the truck? How do you do that? So I probably know more about this industry than I should know. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm just a studier and a geek like that. But um, when brokering first started, guys would go into truck stops and they would look at the monitors and have their notebooks and things like that, you know, stop drivers um, to get loads and all of that. Anyway, in 1995, Internet Truck Stop was created. It's called Internet Truck Stop, ITS.com. Um, the, na the guy's name is Scott Millscrap. Mils I believe that's how you pronounce his last name. Anyway, they're located in Idaho, and he basically changed the whole game. Um, Scott took the broker and the carrier, and he created a web-based platform so that the carrier and the brokers could now go online and be able to access and find each other. Um, of course, throughout the years, Internet Truck Stop developed and grew, and then other low boards started coming about. It's so many different low boards. Um, Brokers even have their own load boards. A lot of your brokers, you'll notice they have their own load boards. But basically, the point of the load board is you can get on the load boards. You can, number one, post. If you're a broker, you'll post your load. If you're a truck, if you're a carrier, you post your truck, wherever your truck is at. Um, and then you can search. If you're a broker, you can search for trucks that are in the area of your load that look like they'll, you know, they might make a good fit. If you're a truck, if you're a carrier, you can search for loads that look like they'll match up with your truck. Basically, it's a date matching service for the trucking industry. Who would have ever thought of it? But anywho, um, and so, you know, brokers are on there, carriers are on there. The good thing about it is if you have a carrier account, most of the time you can't have a broker account. The carrier side doesn't see the broker side. And, you know, um, when you see something that looks like, okay, this truck is in the area that I need it to be in. Um, it looks like he's going where I want him to go. You pick the phone up and you call. Pick the phone up and you call. You don't shoot emails. Um, in this industry, everyone is constantly busy, constantly moving. You send an email, you probably won't even get, you know, answered. Um, the way that the industry works, everything moves fast. Everything moves quick. You can see a low posted and um, within two, literally two to five seconds, that load is off the board. You know, um, it kind of comes down to what, who's quicker. You know, you're, you're constantly dialing that number. You're constantly dialing that number. And if you're calling about a load, you're calling about a truck, you don't need to be extensive and long, basically. Hey, this is Elena with Clay Logistics calling about a uh, um, load that you guys have posted coming out of Birmingham, Alabama, going into Los Angeles, California. Tell me about your load. 
and they tell you about it. You know, of course, it's more details and that's why you go through training so you can find out what you say and you can find out how to negotiate. You can find out how to keep control of the conversation. If you're a dispatcher, you want to keep control of that conversation. If you're the broker, you want to be able to keep control of that conversation. You need to know how to negotiate. You know, if a, if it's a truck there and they're willing to go the area you want to go, um, it would be simple if everyone agreed. But a lot of times, you know, the numbers, not a lot of times, all the time, the numbers fall into play. You know, they might say 3,000 and maybe, you know, you're like, no, I need at least 3,500, you know, and then that's where negotiation comes in. I always tell everyone the first number anyone throws out is just the number. If you're dealing with Elena can get the, I am negotiating with you. <laughs> anyway, um, I enjoy doing this quick, quick, quick lesson on load boards. Um, if you're looking at getting into the industry, go research. Look up Internet Truck Stop. Another big one is DAT, D-A-T, Transcore 360. And then there are all other type of load boards out there. If it's a free load board, free is what you get is free. A board is only as good as people that are posting and people that are searching. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free. Drop me an email, info, I-N-F-O, at the t h e e k m dot com. For some reason, I get like tongue tied. People who can't always understand. So info, um, i n f o at the t as in Tom, h e as in Elena, e k m dot com. Um, check us out. Our website is the e k m dot com. Um, and all right, talk to you guys later. Bye.